Good day, and welcome to the Hope Series Prayer from Mennonite Mission Network. This is Joe Sawatsky with you today. And a couple of realities have been converging for me here, that of dying and that of thanksgiving. Because on Saturday, we observed the funeral for my wife's grandmother on her mother's side. And of course, this week, for those of us in the United States, at least, it's the holiday of Thanksgiving on Thursday. Now, my wife and I were privileged to spend some precious last hours with her grandmother, in which my wife was able to recount all of the good times that they enjoyed together throughout their life, lives together. And even in her grandmother's weakened state, as she was lying on the bed there with her eyes closed, she said over and over again as Anna completed each story, it was so good. It was so good. And to me, her words were like the refrain from Genesis 1, in which God creates. And then it says, and God saw that it was good. And behold, it was very good. These words also formed the selection of the scripture text then for the funeral. And the family chose um, 1 Chronicles 16, 31 through 34, which brings out this theme of goodness. And I just want to read these few verses for you. It says, let the heavens be glad and let the earth rejoice and let them say among the nations, the Lord is king. Let the sea roar and all that fills it. Let the field exult and everything in it. Then shall the trees of the forest sing for joy before the Lord, for he comes to judge the earth. And then verse 34. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. Oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. And then as I discovered the broader context of that psalm in, in First Chronicles, it's part of the, the celebration that Israel was having when David brought the Ark of the Covenant into the tent of meeting in Jerusalem. And here are the first few verses of chapter 16 that put this psalm in its broader context. They brought in the Ark of God and set it inside the tent that David had pitched for it. And they offered burnt offerings and offerings of well-being before God. When David had finished offering the burnt offerings and the offerings of well-being, he blessed the people in the name of the Lord. And he distributed to every person in Israel, man and woman alike, to each a loaf of bread, a portion of meat, and a cake of raisins. So this was an occasion of, of blessing, of distributing food, of eating, of sharing food. It was a feast of thanksgiving. And as I thought about my wife's grandmother too, one of the gifts that people kept naming was her gift of hospitality. And so today, I just want to say that my prayer for all of us this week is that a spirit of thanksgiving would overcome us and overflow from us as we remember all of the people and all of the ways in which God's goodness and God's steadfast love 
have uh, been made known to us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.